Hey guys, welcome back, and something quite frightening happened to one of my animals a little while ago. It was around a couple weeks ago, and I know I didn't do any filming during it because it was quite traumatizing for me. So, it's regarding my pixie frog in this top terrarium right here. So, it used to have a divider going through the middle, um, but over here, as you can see, there would be a gap if it was right, the divider going here. So you can see there's still a little bit of glue right there from where it used to be. And my Pac-Man frog was on this side and he is on this side. He was able to sneak across once and when he did that, I made a video on it, I realized that it was a little bit stupid having that there and that the Pac-Man needed a different terrarium because the size between the two is quite significant. So one night, a couple weeks ago, he happened to sneak across without me knowing. I was long asleep by then. And I heard this horrible sound. It sounded like a screaming, moaning sound. And I thought it was my geckos because sometimes they make that sound. And it sounds quite similar to that. So, I feel horrible about this, but I left it for a while because, well, I was sleeping and I had no idea. Eventually, I got up, probably after 15-20 minutes of hearing that sound, and I went to go check on the geckos and everything was fine. So then, I went to check up there, and I saw my Pac-Man frog eating my pixie frog. He was upside down, um, back first, in her mouth, probably halfway in already, screaming. So I grabbed a fork from on top of the terrarium, put it in her mouth without hurting him or her, opened her mouth and pulled him out. His belly was bleeding a little, it was a big cut mark, I'll show you that in a sec. And his leg was unable to move. The first instinct I thought it was broken, but I took a bowl of water, warm water, and I put like safe in it just to make sure it was clean and I put him in the bowl of water for about half an hour. He was able to stay, his, keep his head out of the water because the bowl wasn't too full, so he could still keep his head up. But anyway, after the bleeding stopped, it wasn't bleeding like terribly bad. He just has a cut mark on his belly and then a couple cuts on his back. So I moved my Pac-Man frog into this terrarium right here. She's got a heating pad and she's right, she's right there, she's okay. And I left him in here with the bigger one because he's gonna get way bigger anyway. That's a 20 gallon that my Pac-Man Barbara is in. And I'll just grab him out so you can see him. So on his back and a little on his leg, you can see the like the bite marks. And he's already gotten quite big since this has happened. Just a couple weeks ago. It's okay, bud. And then on his belly. He doesn't like to be on his back, but I'll just show you. A, yeah, there's a cut on his belly. It's almost healed completely, but you can tell. It's, you can see the scarring on his back. And since this happened, his leg has been moving quite a bit more, and I even saw him hop the other day using his left leg, if you're looking at him from this direction, or my direction anyway. But yeah, he's he seems to be okay. And I don't, it wasn't broken. It might have just been like, um, like trauma and that's why he wasn't moving it or something. But either way, he's okay now. I think my biggest mistake in that time was um, hearing the sound and not getting up. And another mistake, just having the egg crate divider in there in the first place and not separating them. Anyway, live and learn. If you're interested, please subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, slap the like button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.